Hey guys, we are well into exam season now and this is a horrible time, a truly horrible time. It is stressful and there is so much going on in your life. So here are a few um, ways that you can deal with exam stress. Now the most important, important thing that you need to know is that you are not alone in this. Not only are there like hundreds of thousands of other people sitting GCSEs, A-levels, other exams at the moment, but you, you yourself are not alone. You have a massive support network, even though sometimes it doesn't necessarily feel like it. So if you are feeling stressed, if you are feeling like you don't know what to do, if you're feeling overwhelmed, like you can't cope, find someone to talk to. This is so, so, so important. Please find somebody to talk to. Now, this can be your parents, this can be your friends, this can be your teachers, but I know sometimes that it can be a little bit embarrassing talking to your friends or your parents, or that your parents and your teachers have held all these expectations on you and you might not want to go and talk to them because you might feel like you're letting themselves down there are other people you can talk to. On screen now, I'm putting the contact details for the Samaritans. I'll also put them down in the details. Call them. They will listen. They will not judge, they will listen. If you are feeling stressed and you don't know what to do, the most important thing you can do is talk to somebody. And if you don't feel like there's anyone you can talk to face to face, you're embarrassed, they're putting too many expectations on you, please, 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 Call the Samaritans or call somebody else and talk to them. They will listen. Because sometimes um, being told what to do isn't the most helpful thing in your situation. It's fine, you know, your parents saying, go and read a book, go and revise more, go and go for a run. But sometimes what you really need is someone just to listen to you. And that's what the Samaritans will do. They will listen to you. There won't be any judgments. There won't be any um, negative consequences from this. They will listen to you. And maybe just getting things off your chest, talking about how you're feeling, maybe that will help. What I can tell you now is that this feeling won't last forever. I promise you it won't. I know the end of exam seems like it's ages and ages away but it's not okay this feeling will not last forever and i know your parents your teachers me everyone else your friends have been building up and building up and building up exams making it seem like a really really big deal but it's not okay it's important don't get me wrong exams are important but if you fail your exams it's not the end of the world if you don't get the grade that you wanted, it's not the end of the world. If you don't get into the sixth form college or into the A-level course that you wanted, it's not the end of the world. You may be disappointed, but that feeling won't last forever. You will, I don't, know, don't mean to be harsh here, but you will get past that feeling. Um, everybody has disappointments in their life and GCSE results are not the end. Okay, you, there is life after GCSEs, okay? So please, 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 please don't work so hard that you make yourself sick because stress can make you physically sick. You may be going around, oh, I don't feel stressed, I don't feel this, but the symptoms of stress can come out in physical format as well. So you can end up with stomach aches, headaches, you could feel really sweaty, you could start having panic attacks. All of these are physical responses to feeling stressed, even if you don't necessarily think you're stressed. And sometimes when you're stressed, the small little things like there not being any milk in the fridge or like there not being any Nutella for your toast can seem like really, really big, massive things. And all of a sudden you find yourself having hysterics in the kitchen because your younger brother left the top off something or other okay these are perfectly reasonable responses to stress there are some things that you can control and there are some things that you can't control we cannot control the fact that you have exams that's out of our control we can't do anything about that so there's very little point in us trying to change that let's think about things that we can change in our lives that will help us deal with stress you 
are in control of how much sleep you get. You are you are in control of this, okay? Um, and sleep is good for you. I know, I know the temptation is there to stay up studying till whatever time in the morning, but I'm asking you, because I'm not telling you, I'm asking you to please, please, please get some sleep. I'm asking you to control sensibly what you eat. So we're talking about good things, like, you know, a nice apple and some nice Weetabix, not a bag of Skittles. Exercising and relaxing are really, really important. I know, again, it doesn't feel like you have time to do those things, or maybe your parents are telling you, your teachers are telling you that you don't have time to do these things, but they are really important. They will help you relax. I find it relaxing to paint my nails. So I do, I make time in my day to do that because it is important to me and I find it relaxing. Other people will find different things, give different things, different priorities and will find different things rela relaxing. But it's important to you, then it is important, okay? If your life revolves around what is going on in Hollyoaks, then you need to make time to watch Hollyoaks. If it is really important to you that you go to church or mosque or synagogue however many times a week then make sure you make time to do that don't miss out those things during exam periods if they are important to you then they are important and if it is important to you don't skip it make sure you do it during this exam period um Okay guys, I realised I was waffling quite a lot during that video, but it is quite an important topic, so find someone to talk to, do things that are important for you, um, GCSEs are important, but they're not everything, um, and please, please, please look after yourself.